Okay. Today is Friday, May 30th. We are at the African American Civil War Museum. Uh, I'm sitting here today with Beverly McDonald and her granddaughter, Kelsey Reed, and we're talking about uh, a special story about a soldier named Robert Burdett. Uh, and Ms. Reed that's coming in here, Ms. Uh, McDonald came in here today with a lot of exciting information, some things that I've never seen before. This happens to us all the time at the museum. So here comes a family member with a, uh, with a handbook and a photograph of a, of a soldier. So now you tell me, first of all, about this book. I've never seen this before. Let, let your granddaughter hold it right here in front of her. Let, let, let Kelsey hold the book. Well, what is this book? Tell us what it is. Uh, that's a soldier's handbook. And I found it in my father's possessions when he died. It's come down through the family all these years. Uh, this is from the Buffalo Soldiers. Right, right, right. But so, let me just point out, this, this the young man right here, Walter Fisher, whose book this book was, was in the 9th Cavalry. He was a Buffalo Soldier. His father, however, was in the Civil War, and his father's name was Robert Burdett. And you're going to talk a little, tell us a little bit, what do you know about him? Well, I know that he was from Kentucky, and I know that he enlisted in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, even though he lived in Ohio. And that he uh, mustered out about uh, four years later after he went in. And he, I think he got out because he was ill. And he uh, stayed in the soldier's home for a while. And this is my great-grandfather. Okay. Yes. All right. And now, now, what do you think about this? You, you're learning all this new information today. What are you, what, what are you thinking right now, Kelsey? Well, I think it's really cool. And um, I like to learn about history. Okay. And, um, okay. Okay, good. Now, did you go outside with them to look at the name when they found it on that wall outside? Yes. So what did you feel when you saw that? What, what it was that? awesome. It was awesome? Yes. All right. Say it real loud. It was awesome. All right. See, I knew you could talk loud. Cause I, <laughs> okay. Now, Robert Burdett was a was in the uh, Civil War. And I want to point this out to people. He was uh, in the Civil War. His, uh, he's on our wall of honor outside on plaque B wall 25 uh, 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 and uh, plaque number 25. And uh, his son, Walter, was a Buffalo soldier. This, now... And on May 17, 2015, uh, we are going to take a victory lap uh, uh, from uh, along Pennsylvania Avenue, the same way the Union Army did in 1865 when they uh, when the war was over. Except in 1865, the black soldiers weren't invited. This time, we're going to be invited, and we want to have somebody come from your family to represent Walter Burdett and and uh, and, uh, and Walter Fisher. So you've got to get two people down here. We will come. All right. I'll make you a promise. All right. <laughs> yes. Now you told me you have a, 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 is it a nephew who looks like it? I have a son. Son? Who looks, yes. Who, I, the, what's his name? His name is Patrick. Okay. Patrick Timothy. So so what, what parts of him do you think look like his grandfather? Oh, these eyes are traditional in the family. They have come down from generation to generation. They are, they, he has the eyes. Okay. Yes. And I want does. I want the public to get an image of what we want this to look like. This is going to look like uh, what the war was all about. People who were enslaved before the war started, they put on a Union uniform, and when the war is over, they freed their whole family. They freed the nation. Uh, and so this is really an awesome story, and we're glad to have you all. We look forward to having you. Beverly McDonald, come Thank back. You. And Kelsey Reed, you're going to come back too? Yes. All right. We promise. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. You want to say anything before we before? No, but I have enjoyed the museum. Everyone needs to come and take a tour of this museum. It is fabulous. Wonderful. All right. Thank you very much. Okay.